Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Taurus's week ahead for April 12th through the 18th. In this reading, we are going to tap into the energies with the Energy Oracle deck. Then we will get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot and dive a little bit deeper with a traditional tarot deck. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely going to be something in the message. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings is all linked below in the description box. And if you would like future messages, you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. And it does help set your intentions when you subscribe. So keep that in mind. All right, Taurus, let's jump into the message to see what we can see for you guys for April 12th through the 18th. Most important message here for Taurus Spirit. What does Taurus need to see April 12th through the 18th? Please and thank you. Rest and rejuvenation. This is interesting, okay? Rest and rejuvenation, the temple path. So rest and rejuvenation is like meditation, contemplation. I get the sense here, Taurus, what's coming out here is um, a very hard lesson is being learned within your finances, within your job, career, business, what have you. I feel like a lot of people are kind of going through this right now. So trying to focus on the things that you can control, what you can do, things that you want not the things that you don't want. That's been a big message that's been coming out today. But I feel like here, um, there's going to be somebody that comes in that's going to help guide you. Let's get a couple of these Soul Journey cards out here to sum up the message. I do feel like you are kind of it's kind of like a fear-based energy that I'm feeling right now where you're focused on the things, the things, the negative things that are happening. So like you're focusing on like the losses and the things that you don't want to happen or didn't want to take place. And a lot of times that's the law of attraction is we're going to bring in that to which we focus our intention and our energy on let's get a couple cards out of this little journey i feel like what spirit is telling you is it's time to change change your perspective on how you're looking at things i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone There's a very significant lesson that you're learning here. Part of which is where your focus is, okay? It also is definitely a financial lesson, right? So let's see what else comes out here, Taurus, for you guys. There is somebody that's going to be able to help you either financially 
They may help you with a gift of finances. They may also just help you with some advice regarding finances, but I feel like there is going to be help coming in. Okay, so try not to worry, try not to stress. Let's see. Most important message here for Taurus. What does Taurus need to see here? April 12th through the 18th. Please and thank you. Seven of Autumn is the Seven of Pentacles. This is sowing seeds, right? A lot of times this will talk about the beginning phases of starting a business or the beginning phases of deciding what type of career that you want to pursue. It's going to take... Um, some time, maybe even a little bit of investment in money. Five of Autumn is the Five of Pentacles. That loss, right? Um, challenged within your finances. Maybe even a situation where you're changing your career or changing a job. A lot of people are going through similar experiences right now where maybe your job isn't an essential business if you're in America. So you might be having to find temporary work and it's difficult. Um, I feel like you're just feeling very challenged, very restricted financially. And there's that help. There also may be... Um, some information that you're missing okay the page of autumn or the page of pentacles which is the princess of autumn this talks about seeking more information a lot of times this is a student who's going to school or studying um to pursue a higher level of career but i feel like you're needing to kind of push yourself to move forward I know it's a difficult period. I know that a lot of people are going through a lot of different things, but there are options out there. You just kind of have to explore them, maybe dig a little bit deeper than you would normally like to, um, but you kind of have to adapt when interesting things happen in the world. So let's see here, Taurus, what else we can see will come out for you guys. I'm gonna pull out this traditional rider weight. I'm gonna do a simple Celtic cross. We look at the main issue, what's challenging or what's crossing. We'll look at your energy, what's crowning the situation, what you're not aware of. Let's see. Let's see. Well, that's interesting. Now we're talking about family. A loss of a relationship. Confusion within your love life. I do feel like whatever confusion you're feeling here, you're very guarded. You are in this state of, I don't want that to happen again, or I don't want to go through that emotion again. And as I was saying with the Oracle cards coming out here, Taurus, um, sometimes when we focus on the things that we don't want in our life, we get more of that. And it's because you get more of what you focus on. We're going to get some clarification here for sure. But I get the sense here that um, there's a lot of conflict coming out here. A lot of fives. Fives is 
is symbolic of conflict, of resistance. feel like here, Taurus, you may be walking away from a situation that maybe not only was a person who you had a relationship with, but maybe there's like changes that are being made within your home, or maybe you guys owned a business together, or they supported you um, financially, and you're finding that it's harder on your own than you realized. It's also could be like, um, you know, the phases when you move out of your parents' house, that first initial apartment and you don't, you're bright eyed and bushy tailed to the world and then the realization kicks in when all the bills hit. That energy. So the first thing I feel like is going to be beneficial here is self care. Okay. You need to kind of get clear within yourself emotionally. I'm feeling a sense here of being emotionally drained or maybe even not really having motivation to do anything. Maybe even not having energy. I feel like the reason why you're going through this is because you're feeling at loss here. Even though you may be exuding like, oh, this relationship was going to end. I feel like you're still feeling a little bit saddened by this loss, disheartened by this loss. Don't be afraid to ask others for help, ask others for assistance, because I feel like there may be somebody who can help you. Maybe financially, maybe they can give you some advice on how to move forward. But I am getting this strong sense of needing to reach out and ask for help. I feel like the person who you're walking away from was very stubborn. But I do feel like you are kind of withholding, withholding your energy. Um, there may be some Devil energy talks about codependency. It can be toxic relationships. It can also be overindulgence. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. You may be trying to suppress your emotions um, with substances or overindulgences in anything, even food. Okay. I do feel like um, there's this need to release. Okay, if a person is causing you a lot of negative emotions, okay, if they're maybe causing you stress or causing you anxiety or not being a consistent part of your life, um, I feel like you have to make this decision yourself, Taurus, to walk away. Nobody's going to make this decision for you. And you're not going to be, you're not going to make the decision until you're ready from personal experience, but I do feel like you are moving into a more calmer phase, more calmer time. I feel like you are walking away from this past energy that is no longer serving you, but this one up being tit for tat, you know, um, feeling at loss, you know, maybe up and down, hot and cold energy. I do feel like you want something more stable, more solid. So, Taurus, let's get a couple cards here for your advice. Moving forward. I do feel like there is a transformation that you're going through. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. The Devil card is coming out here twice, so pay attention to overindulgence, codependency. Make sure that you're healing completely for, from this past situation before you try to move into another relationship. Okay, don't try to get over one person by getting under another. That's not a way to heal at all. It's a way to keep yourself stuck. Okay. 
There's also a need here to let go of the past, let go of this past situation. Okay, um, no more stalking, no more um, trying to see what they're up to or reaching out. I feel like where the focus needs to be here, Taurus, is on yourself. On your self-care, self-love, self-healing. Maybe self-discovery journey. Maybe there's um, something that you want to pursue within career. Maybe you're going to need some higher level of learning or a certificate, something along those lines, maybe even a, an apprenticeship that will help cultivate that promotion. I feel like kind of taking your focus and focusing on that for now is going to be beneficial for you in your mental space. getting clear on what what you want like what direction are you headed now that you released this negativity may not be completely 100% changed but I bet you there's going to definitely be some differences just take it take your time slow and steady wins the race make sure that you're taking care of yourself first okay I am going to do an extended reading on this Taurus. In the extended version, we, I want to take a look into um, where this is headed. Okay, I want to take a look at this person's intentions a little bit because I'm sure you guys are interested in that um, as well as I am. But I want to see what the next steps are moving forward. We'll pull out the Archangel cards for the blessing. We'll pull out the Soul Truth for the lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in, the link is below. Power Thought card that is coming out for you guys, Taurus, is I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. Each moment of the day is special to me as I follow my higher instincts. And listen to my heart. I am at peace with my world and affairs. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. Beautiful, beautiful Taurus. So that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended, link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.